chemical compound. Now, first of all, we need to know what is a chemical compound, right? So a chemical compound is a substance that is formed by more than one elements that bond together chemically in a fixed proportions. Eh? For example, eh? oxygen, O2. So is this a chemical compound? Yes or no? The answer is no. Okay, This is not chemical compound. Why? Because they say it must have more than one element. Okay, more than one element. Now, this one just one element, oxygen only, just one element. Okay, so it's not chemical compound. Then, uh, how about carbon dioxide? Is this chemical compound? Yes, okay, why? Because there are two types of elements, right? Okay, water, chemical compound? Yes, okay, because there are two types, uh, okay, two types of elements. So that's the difference between a, a compound and element. Huh? Okay, so this one is called element. Okay, and these two are called compound. So that's the difference between element and compound. If there's just one type of atom, then it's the element. The chemical compounds, huh? okay, or the ratio or the proportions of the elements are fixed. Like for example, uh, carbon dioxide. Okay, so the ratio. It's one to two, uh, one to two. The ratios of carbon to oxygen is one to two, uh, okay? And for water, the ratio of uh, hydrogen and oxygen is two to one. So you see the ratio is fixed. Uh, so therefore we say in uh, fixed proportions. Okay, stabilities of noble gases. In previous chapter, periodic tables, uh, we have learned uh, group one, group 17, and group 18. And we learned that group 18 is called noble gases. And all the group 18s, they exist as monoatoms in nature. Monoatoms in nature means that they're just one atom. Uh, just one atom. Unlike oxygen, so oxygen, they're always uh, two atoms, okay, bonds together. Yeah, that's what oxygen is, oxygen. Hydrogen also, two atoms bond together. Nitrogen also, two atoms bonds together. So these are the diatomic molecule, but group 18, just mono atom, one atom only. Why? Because they are so stable and they don't like to bond with uh, other atoms. Yeah, even uh, uh, if they say if neon, okay, neon and neon also, uh, okay, they don't like to bond together. Yeah, so they are single. They don't like to bond to with an, another atoms. So they exist as mono atoms in nature. They are inert. Inert means that they are very stable. Okay, they are very stable and uh, they do not react. They do not react with other substances. Huh? That's called inert. So they are inert in nature and they do not react with any other elements or even themselves, okay? Neon and neon also, they do not react. Huh? So they do not react with other elements to form any chemical compounds. They are very, very stable. So in other words, they are chemically very stable and uh, or uh, chemically very non-reactive. Uh, so that's what this uh, inert means. Uh, okay, chemically very stable and uh, very non-reactive. Duplet and octet electrons arrangement. In chapter two, structures of atoms, uh, we have learned that electrons in an atom, uh, okay, uh, doesn't arrange randomly. They uh, they are arranged in certain manner, right? Okay, for example, uh, for example, uh, let's say, yeah, sodium, and uh, if sodium has 11 electrons, 11 electrons, uh, so what's the electrons arrangements of sodium? Sodium has 11 electrons, 2, 8, 1, okay, 2, 8, 1, right? Okay, 2, 8, 1, yes, okay. So the first shell has 2 electrons, the second shell has 8 electrons, and then the last shell has 1 electron, right? The charge on the nucleus and the number of electrons in the valence shell determine the chemical properties of an atom. Okay, so the chemical properties uh, means that how an element react. The the chemical property is determined by the charge and also the number of electrons in the valence shell. It depends. This one. This is the valence electron. Huh? This is the electron in the valence shell, and this is the things that affect. Uh, the chemical properties. Eh? Okay, we we have learned this in periodic table, right? That's that's what you need to know. Eh? So the stabilities of noble gas is due to the electrons arrangement. So group eighteen are very stable, and the stability is because the arrangements of electrons. Eh? 
charge on the uh, on the nucleus mean proton number uh, yes because uh, inside nucleus okay inside nuclear there are neutron and proton okay uh, and uh, neutron the charge is new there's, there's no charge it's neutral okay so then the charge depends on the proton okay if, for example so if there is two pot proton then the relative charge is positive two if there is a three proton then the relative charge is positive three that is the charge of the nucleus eh? charge of the nucleus it's not the charge of the atom eh? it's the charge of the nucleus yes the charge of the nucleus is same as the number of proton so this is about uh stabilities okay of an atom so it's stable is uh, uh the, the chemical property is uh is affected by the number of electrons or the electrons arrangement this is uh electrons arrangements of noble gases uh, okay helium neon argon krypton okay and uh or you can see here the electrons arrangements 2 2 8 2 8 8 2 8 18 8 uh, for the first uh, elements uh, of group 18 uh, is helium, right? Okay, and helium uh, has two electrons. Okay, two electrons. Uh. Maximum number of electrons can be filled into this shell is two. Uh, okay, so two electron means already full. That is the maximum number of electrons can be filled in the first shell. Uh. So two electrons is already full. The first shell uh, filled with two electrons, okay, uh, which is full already, uh, and we call this duplet duplex electrons arrangements so the outermost shell of helium has two electrons and we call this duplet okay two electrons filled in the first shell is called duplet and then let's see uh, neon argon and krypton okay let's see the valence electrons eight 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 right okay so if the outermost shell the valence shell okay the outermost shell this one, okay, and uh, or, or, we, or we call it the valence shell. If the valence shell fill with eight electrons, eight electrons, eight electrons, eight electrons, okay. So if the valence shell fill with eight electrons, then we call these arrangements of electrons octet. Okay, this is called octet. Okay, if just two electrons in the first shell, then it's called duplet. And for other shell, if fill with eight electrons, then it's called octet. So that is duplet and octet electrons arrangements. Okay, we, we know that uh, these this types of uh, arrangements uh, make the atom very stable. Yeah, duplet the octet. Uh, okay, it makes the atoms very, very stable. Let's proceed to the octet rule. Uh, octet rule. Atoms of other main group elements which are not octet tend to react with other atoms in various ways to achieve octet. Okay, and the tendencies of an atoms to achieve an octet arrangement of electrons in the outermost shell is called the octet rule now now what does this mean now, for example sodium okay the electrons arrangement is two eight one two eight one so is this octet or duplet okay is this octet or duplet or there is is not octet or duplet is it octet or duplet or no no eh? okay because uh, octet means eight electrons and duplet means two electrons okay so this is neither octets nor duplet right okay now if an atom is neither octet or duplet electrons arrangements uh, then they would tend to do something to make themselves become octet or duplet and the 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 manners that they achieve octet uh, is react with other atoms okay they try to react with other atoms to make themselves octet uh, in this case uh, okay so they may uh, throw away these electrons Okay, it throw away this electron, then it become two eight. Okay, now after it become two eight, then this become octet already, right? It become octet. Eh? Those atom which which are not octet, they are not octet. They will try to react with other atoms to become octet, and this is called octet rule. Eh? So everybody want to become octet. Okay, octet means octet uh, arrangements of electrons. Eh? Okay. So this tendency uh, to achieve octet arrangements of electron is called the octet rule. Uh, okay, and you need to memorize this. Uh, you need to memorize the octet rule because in exam they may ask you to uh, uh, to define octet rule. Uh, and and also uh, remember octet uh, is an arrangements of electrons. So when you say octet to achieve octet, uh, then you should say uh, achieve octet arrangements of electrons. Uh. Uh, but uh, for some of the elements, okay, the outermost shell. Is the first shell there's only one shell okay and then the maximum number of, of electrons in the first shell is two okay 
and this is called duplet, right? Octet means that there's eight electrons. Huh? Octet means there's eight electrons. Okay. Uh, for example, helium. Okay. For example, helium. Helium has only two electrons. Two electrons only. Yeah. Oh, they say this is shell. Okay. Helium has only two electrons, and it's already full. So it's impossible for a helium to achieve octet, right? Because the maximum maximum numbers of electrons can be filled is just two. Huh? Okay. So it's uh, uh, It's not possible for it to achieve octet. Huh? What you can achieve is just a duplet only. But uh, this duplet is also very stable. Yeah? Very stable. So therefore, we say this helium also obeys the octet rule. Even though it's not octet, uh, it's duplet. Uh, okay? It's duplet. But because the first shell can only fill with two electrons, if it's filled with two, with two electrons, uh, it becomes as stable as the octet arrangements huh? so therefore we say uh, it also obeys octet rules okay so we don't have another rule called duplet rule no huh? there's just one rule only octet rule we don't have duplet rule okay so even though uh helium huh, the arrangement is duplet but then we still say uh helium huh, it obeys the octet rule okay because the uh the arrangements of electron is as stable as the octet arrangement according to octet rule okay everybody want to become octet right Everybody want to become octet or duplet or duplet. So they can achieve duplet or octet electrons arrangements in three ways. One is they throw away the excess electrons. Uh, second is they receive electrons from other atoms. Okay, if they don't have enough electrons, then they will try to receive. If they have extra, then they will try to throw it away. Or they can share. Okay, okay, they can share the electrons to achieve octet. So there's three. This is a three way. To become octet yep so all all atoms they want to become octet because octet uh, is the most stable eh? octet arrangements of electrons is the most stable so if they want to become octet then how how they can become octet uh, they can either throw away electron or receive electrons or share electrons that is the three ways yeah to achieve octet for example, sodium, uh, the electron's arrangement is 2,8,1, so it has one extra electron. Uh. So to achieve octets, then uh, it can throw away this electron. So after throwing away that electrons, then it will become uh, sodium, one electron, uh, sorry, two electrons, and eight electrons. Uh. Uh, and then it's a plus electron, so this electron is has been released. So you see, initially it has uh, 11 electrons, uh, 2, 8, 1, uh, okay? So in reactions, it will throw away these electrons. It will throw away this electron in chemical reactions, and then make it to become 2, 8 only. Uh. All atoms are neutral, right? If you still remember, all atoms are neutral, uh, okay? So if this sodium it has 11 electrons, 11 electron eh? so what's the number of protons 11 proton yes that's correct so for atom because they are a neutral eh? so the number of electron must be equal to the number of proton eh? after throwing away one electrons so then it has 10 electron eh? 10 electron and uh, 11 proton eh? now if this is the case then what's the charge what's the charge of this ion 10 electrons 11 proton so the answer is uh, positive one, eh? positive one. Now why positive one? Because you see proton more than electron, right? Proton carry positive charge. Electron carry negative charge. If proton more than electron, then the charge is positive. Eh? And this is one proton more than one more than electron. So therefore the charge is positive one. Mm -hmm. uh, that is how they achieve octet. And now octet already, right? Okay, the last, the outermost shell has eight electrons. So it's octet already. So that's how you achieve octet. Eh? Now for fluorine, uh, it's very hard for fluorine to throw away all the seven valence electrons, right? So it's easier. It's easier for the fluorine to receive electron from other party. So it try to receive electron eh, and put it into this uh, uh, valence shell. So fluorine, it will receive electron. Now you see initially yeah, there's seven valence electron right okay so after reactions uh, it will attract one electron uh, to put into this shell then it become eight electrons huh? uh, one two three four five six seven eight 
Uh, then this becomes octet already. Eight electron means octet already. Initially, seven electrons, this is not octet. Eh? So after it gets uh, one more electron, so then it becomes octet. Uh, from here, we can see that yeah, either it throw away the electrons to achieve octet or it will receive electron to achieve octet. Eh? And this one, the charge is uh, a negative one. Now, other than uh, throwing away electrons or receive electron, okay, they can they can also share electrons. Eh? Share electron. For example, fluorine. Uh, fluorine has only eight electrons, right? Okay, the, the red one, eight only. Yeah. Okay, another fluorine also has uh, sorry, uh, seven eh? seven valence electrons. Okay, another fluorine also has seven valence electrons. So they are not stable eh? because it's not yet not yet octet. To achieve octet, you see what they do is you see. They each party, okay, each fluorine eh, take out one electron. Okay, take out one electron. This one take out one electron, and then they share the electrons. After sharing the electron, eh, okay, then these two atoms will be bond together, right? They will be attached together, cannot separate already. Eh? Uh, that is how a, a bond is formed, a covalent bond is formed okay, by sharing electrons. Uh, so atom achieve octet in three methods. 